I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So I have yet another reason to be critical of the Windows 10 feature builds. More or less, um, the way Windows 10 sends you feature upgrades every half a year or every year depending on how often you update your system. See, the thing I've never liked about the Windows 10 feature upgrades is you're practically doing the equivalent of reinstalling or upgrade installing your operating system every half a year or year or however often you do it. Now for me, I usually do it, I usually uh, po postpone it as long as possible. I'm actually going straight from Windows 10 1909 to 20 H2. And he, this, is, this is another reason why I'm just, I don't like the way this works. So the biggest thing about it is the fact, for the simple fact that you're doing an upgrade install of Windows over your existing uh, Windows installation, it's, it's prone to have problems. You could have issues with drivers not working right, or certain software titles that worked with the previous build not working with the next build, or you could have a case like me where the system outright simply does not boot. Yeah, guys, that happened tonight. Well, things seem to be working okay now. That wasn't the case about five minutes ago. I walked in here, and I noticed, um, you know, since I had the uh, USB stick plugged in there, I noticed it booted into the USB flash drive, into Windows 10 setup. I'm like okay, sometimes that happens, but it was weird because I, uh, the system had already restarted at least one time and it restarted fine. Then, well, I pulled the USB stick out and restart the system. Speaking of which, is restarting right now. Um, and it goes to boot up in the Windows. Well, uh, it doesn't find an operating system. It tells you to insert boot device or and press a key. And I'm like, oh great. So. <laughs> I was able to, I think I was able to alleviate that by popping the uh, USB stick back in and booting into Windows Setup and choosing the Repair Your Computer option and choosing Start Repair, which seemed to, seems to have got it back up and going. Um, but, of course, being someone who knows about computers, um, I mean, obviously we can look for that kind of stuff, but for, uh, you know, the average user who may not know how to troubleshoot stuff like this, you end up in a situation to where you're just uh, in a jam. You end up with a, you end up with a PC that won't boot up, and it's like this is this is why I can't stand how these feature upgrades do. Now, what build was it? It was yeah, 1909 I think was the feature update that didn't require the upgrade install of your OS, provided you were running 1903. See, that was an example of what I would like to see. Um, it, it applies stuff under the hood, but doesn't have to totally rebuild the engine, so to say. Um, you, you're not having to replace your engine, or you're not having to rebuild it. <laughs> you're, just, uh, you're just replacing the needed parts. See, replacing just the needed parts on an engine is a lot simpler than having to either replace the motor or do a total rebuild of it. This is kind of an example of how Windows 10 does things. Instead of just uh, attacking on the needed up updates um, or service packs, like for example Windows 7 or Windows XP or Windows Vista, um, the feature updates, the, you, you, you have to do an equivalent of a um, reinstallation of your operating system or upgrade installation of your operating system. And my buddy Tim Payne years ago, he used to tell me, um, he used to advise me, and of course he was a long time computer technician, and he always advised against doing upgrade install of the Windows. Like for example, if we were upgrading from Windows 98 to Windows ME or Windows ME to XP, um, he would suggest backing up the files and doing a clean installation. Because a lot of times when you do an upgrade install from one OS to another, you tend to have problems with drivers or just you ha you tend to have issues because like I mentioned earlier but nowadays with uh, Microsoft they have they pretty much have adopted this strategy of doing upgrade installations and tried to hide it as a feature update see they try to make it look like you're just installing Windows updates when in reality you're actually just reinstalling your operating system or doing an upgrade installation of your operating system which um, oh yeah I should mention 
every time I do a feature up, update, I have to go in and change settings back to the way they were on certain things. Like, for example, my network uh, sharing settings. I have to go reset all them because it sets them back to default. And there's just a few other odds and ends. But tonight was a simple example of why I strongly dislike the Windows 10 style of updates, the feature upgrades. And you have to do them um, to to maintain um, support for your OS unless you're running Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB or LTSC. And if you're running Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, um, your Windows 10 build typically has just a year and a half of support compared to, let's say, Windows 7, which uh, had, uh, what, 10 or 11 years of support provided you uh, updated to Service Pack 1. See, I miss the good old days when you didn't have to do an upgrade installation of your operating system every um, year and a half or every half year if you actually up update every single time. See, had it been, let's say, uh, just to say, average average user who don't know how to really troubleshoot a computer, they would have been they would have been stuck tonight. They would have been without a computer because uh, because the Windows 10 up, uh, upgrade process ran into a jam and somehow um, deleted the, uh, <laughs> the files for the uh, computer to boot off of, which is in, I'm trying to say it in simple terms. So, yeah, tonight. Windows 10's uh, feature update rendered Midtower Lux unbootable. Now, it was a pretty simple fix for me. Again, pop in the flash drive, boot into Windows Setup, select Repair Your Computer, and select Start Repair from the Advanced Options, and uh, that got it right back up and going. But you may have seen earlier, as I was talking, you may have seen how the boot animation was just the Windows 10 flag or Windows 10 logo and not the Ace Rock logo. Yeah, this thing is uh, this, this, this weird because this thing is uh, UEFI booting. So not really sure what's going on there, but it looks like it's about to finish up. But yeah, again, this is... Tonight was a fine example of, uh, of why I strongly dislike the... Or excuse me, I absolutely hate the Windows 10 feature updates. They should have made this to where you don't have to do the equivalent of upgrading and installing your operating system every half a year or every year and a half. So, anyways, it looks like we can actually boot in. We can actually log in now. Fingers crossed they didn't wreck anything up. Oh, oh, excuse me. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, hi, we're happy you're here, bullcrap. Just go ahead and bypass that. I tell you guys, I'll be honest with you. When, when something like that happens, especially when it's your main system with all your with all your stuff on it, it does you <laughs> you end up in a cringe. Make sure uh, make sure OneDrive ain't trying to install on me. Don't think it is. I think we're good there. So, like for example, it uninstalled my uh, Windows Vista Moon Maker. I have to gotta, I gotta reinstall that. Okay, and let's see if let's see if it'll launch. <laughs> it always does this. I gotta, I gotta fix that. I, more or less, I gotta patch the file that it. This uh, WMP config, or whatever it is, but yeah, it just little just little odds and ends. Like for example, uh, go to the control panel and uh, network and sharing center, advanced sharing settings, and if I go to all networks, you can see uh, turn on password protected sharing. I don't think that was turned on to begin with. Uh, you know, it, it's it just it's just little things like that to get on my nerves. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. That's my little rant again about the Windows 10 uh, feature updates. So you know, had it not been had this had I been as some you know had to been an average user who didn't really, who doesn't really know how to troubleshoot a computer, I would have been stranded tonight thanks to Windows 10's uh, updates. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.
Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.